We'll start with the Dryad Mask. This is one of our most popular designs. They sell out incredibly quickly, so using the laser cutter will hugely help satisfy the high demand. We love mythology and use myths from around the world to inspire our mask making. Dryads come from Greek mythology, specifically the nymphs of oak trees. The black lines you are seeing are where the laser burns through the leather. It smells pretty weird, but makes for a super clean and sharp cutout. The sharp angles on the dryad made it a tricky piece to cut out by hand. Leather shears are huge and bulky, which made maneuvering around the tight corners and small curves a pain mentally and physically. It took about seven minutes to cut out with the laser, and we're pretty happy with how it turned out. This mask is what we've been calling the tree mask. It is one of our most intensive masks to cut out because of all the intricate branches that stretch above the face and the little details in the mask. Cutting this mask out by hand typically took around two hours at least, using leather shears and an X-Acto knife. With the laser cutter, it took less than five minutes to get a clean cutout that perfectly matched our design template. Our original design was lopsided. As you can see, the right side is significantly bigger than the left side. It didn't look too bad when it was worn, but we wanted to make sure that it was symmetrical. The current design has even sides and tooling and painting that mimics wood grain. We like this version a lot better. This is the sunflower. The sunflower wasn't a popular design originally, but when Etsy.com featured it on their Facebook page and in their daily email, sales exploded. And unlike the dryad and tree masks, this one is fairly easy to cut out by hand. However, since the demand for this mask has dramatically increased, the laser cutter will help keep up with sales a lot. This one only took about five minutes to cut out. It was the first mask cut out of the day, so I was really impressed with how fast it went. I had about five sunflowers on that sheet of leather and used the rest of the space to cut out keychains. The mini sun and moon mask and the mini dryad mask as well as some butterflies are our most popular keychains ever, so I cut out about 20 of each. And the last mask cut out was the peacock. This is our most expensive and elaborate mask, featuring an array of bright colors and 16 real tail feathers from a peacock. Pretty much the crown jewel of our shop. And this mask is big. With the tail feathers, it catches the wind a lot, turning its wear into a human kite. So we definitely recommend not wearing it on windy days. It's a huge eye catcher and reflects the sunlight beautifully with the iridescence on it. We tried to mimic the actual iridescence of peacock feathers when painting this mask. It's a lot of fun and a beautiful mask to wear or hang on a wall as an art piece. Now what the laser cutter is doing is cutting out a brand new design that I had made up on the spot to fill in some extra space that I hadn't used on this piece of leather. And I really wanted to do something unique and special. The laser cutter, the thing that makes the laser cutter really awesome is 
that not only does it, it cut out what is really difficult to do by hand and do it fast, but it also can cut out what is pretty much impossible to do by hand. So you get all these awesome little shapes that you can see it cutting out now that would probably not work too well if you cut it out by hand. Like if I were to do this with an X-Acto knife, those two arched points that meet in the middle, those would probably be cut straight through. You can get such gorgeous tiny little lines, like filigree work almost, with the laser cutter. It's really beautiful. We definitely plan on making a lot more of these in the future. And this is basically sped up at eight times the original speed, showing the rest of what a sheet of the leather looks like and how I basically fill in the gaps. These are the other five sunflowers and all of the keychains that I cut out. Lots of little moons, lots of little dryads, lots of little suns and butterflies, tons of stuff. I filled up as much space as I possibly could when doing this. and. It's, it's definitely worth doing.